Morning, Adele. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> Good. How are you feeling for today's session? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's a beautiful day, so got some really nice conditions on the track. And I've got some slightly shorter routes. I've been doing a bit of a block of uh, longer sessions recently just to get ready for going to altitude next week. So um, it feels like a bit of a treat to have some 400s. <laughs> we might be doing it off the back of some of the, the guys that Craig, my coach, coaches as well. And then my partner, Ben, as well, who always helps me, will be there. So yeah, we'll just all share the load and yeah, hopefully it'll be a good session. Awesome. And it's, all, it's quite an interesting one. So it's three sets of four times 400. Yes. One 400 slow, one fast, one slow, one fast. Yeah, that's for the final set. So the first two sets will be very much sort of 1500 pace. Um, we're kind of a bit unique, I guess, with paces. Like I usually tend to just feel out the first couple of reps, see how I'm feeling on that day. And then we kind of go from there. Um, so it's a bit hard for me to say paces. <laughs> um, but for the final set, Craig will usually get me to run about 10 seconds slower for one rep then 10 seconds quicker so it's kind of simulating like what a race would be like just that uneven pace and being able to pick up so yes yeah, should be fun awesome. and then can you tell me a little bit about your you did really well at the indoors recently oh thank you um, <laughs> yeah I'm um, um, yeah recently won um, the 1500 meters uh, British championships <laughs> indoors um, we didn't do the uh, the world Champ championships were just last weekend but um yeah, we kind of got what we wanted out of indoors, just trying a new event, which has been really fun for me. Um, and yeah, I just really enjoyed the indoor season in general. So it was kind of fun to just see where I was at off kind of more 15 work and doing a couple of 800s. Um, yeah, I'm just excited for the season ahead now. Sweet. Where are you going to train at altitude? I'm going to Flagstaff in Flagstaff. Arizona. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> and skin, yeah. I saw in the previous video that Matt recorded that you were potentially going to South Africa? Yeah, yes, yeah, so we, we were in South Africa in January, yeah, here yeah, we in Poch. Um, so yeah, that was really nice actually, because um, I hadn't been there for a couple of years and because of COVID and things, we wanted to go the year before, so it was good to get out there. Um, we'll probably try and do that again in January because it was quite a nice um, build up for indoors. We're gonna do a couple of drills. Yeah, no, we do two mile warm up, two mile warm down. So I just like run from my house and then do a little bit more on the track. Yeah, I guess so. What shoes are you running in today? I'm going to be wearing, so I'll probably put on the rare heat for like the first set, um, which is sort of like a, a flat, I'll have to show you in a minute. And um, then I'll use the Cielo uh, LD, it's a long distance bike. Okay. or the rest because it will be like slightly quicker hopefully uh, but yeah I'm just wearing the Mac at the moment I do most of my running in these or the Kiwana and I think they're bringing out the Mac Supersonic soon so yeah these are like my favourite ones to do most of my miles in or the Kiwana what was that? Uh, lap, lap jog. Okay. Cool. 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 Yeah. Cool. So, oh, he's got the camera cool. on. These are the flats? Yeah, so these are the rare heat. This is what I do a lot of my sort of like um, short recovery uh, wraps in. And then if I was to do like a, a bit of a longer session, I'd probably wear the rocket. Um, like tempo or anything like that. And that's got like a little bit of carbon in, but these uh, don't. And yeah, and these are like the long distance um, CLO spike which I'll be wearing later on. Awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. Oh, you make your own little group, that's fine. Right, so C375 comes. It's one thing, like 68 at the front, we'll start off at. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying so. All right, ready? Go 
Not bad. How was your time in South Africa, Chris? Yeah, it was good, really good. Yeah, nice. Uh, we're going back in. Uh, well, we're going to Font Remo in a couple of weeks' time with the uh, uni group and some of the older ones, and then me and Randolph uh, going off to South Africa again for a couple of weeks. So, not awesome. bad. Not a bad life, is it? All right, guys. Done. Yes, that one done. It was pretty windy on that home straight actually. <laughs> I was thinking that. So, yeah. definitely felt it, but um, yeah, it's good. I think I feel a bit nice when I put my spikes on. <laughs> just one set in the flats. Yeah, just, just save my carbs a little bit basically. Uh, it makes a big difference. <laughs> Let's go start over that side. Yeah. 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 And then we're less crowded here. Right, uh, girls, come on, get on the back. Yeah, that was a 65, so if I can keep it there for a set, I'd be happy with that. We've got a little bit more recovery, it's just 75 <laughs> seconds between these. But um, yeah, she's feeling a bit better in spikes now, so hopefully we can keep it there. Ready? Let's go. How many athletes or groups are you in charge of? Uh, overall, I've probably got about 45. Damn. Yeah, um, obviously a bunch of them are uh, students and then obviously got quite a few that have stayed after graduation and they live around the area in the Dells like kind of one of them and then that other group that doing a doing a bit of a longer session there some of the old ones so, so it's a lot sweet that's <laughs> awesome five six five Adele. I just want to try and maintain, just get a little bit quicker so that the quick one on the next set feels a bit better. Yeah, it always feels hard though because you go to, into the slow one thinking this is going to be easy and it's actually not that easy. The guys so. earlier were saying that the slow ones are actually harder and they said that third one, that second yeah. slow one. Because it's, it's kind of an uncomfortable pace to, to run at anyway, but then when you're putting it next to something that's... Yeah. A little stretching a little bit, it's yeah, it's tough. <laughs> Good jog a lap. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Just me. <laughs> what's, what's Five boys, boys, 75. Slow, slow man today. Uh, uh, do you want to take slow and ask it first? Yeah. You guys are going to 75? Yeah, yeah, 75. Yeah. 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 So Craig, the slow fast, slow fast yep. reps is something you do often? Uh, on this session I do, uh, just sometimes just mix it up and just have that big differential of going slow and then all of a sudden having to sort of pick the next rep up and uh, yeah, something a little bit different for them. Slap, slap down. Four, five. How long is it? Alright. Come big effort.
Yeah, so I'll take the last one. Yeah, just keep moving. There we go. What's up then? Why have you stopped then? Huh? Had to take a break, otherwise I'm not going for that last rep. <laughs> Oh. How was it? It feels dreadful. Um, I think that's just like that rhythm. You can't lock yourself into a rhythm. Um, so yeah, it feels a bit, a bit rubbish, but was it as <laughs> that was actually as marginally well? quicker than the first 70, um, I think it was 72, 75, but yeah, we're going to have to go quick again now. So yeah, see how this feels. Last one. <laughs> right, come on, big effort. That third rep was tough, eh? Yeah, that was the third to last one. You got to, everyone else just like pushing on a bit, so we got to just got to ease off and quit it short by 50 meters, and then hit the last one hard. Nice. 75 is not a not a nice number. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's nice, quite nice. What set, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You've got the the lap job to regroup. Yeah. So yeah, that, these last couple were hard. Yeah. 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 Feeling good. Yeah, yeah, I was actually just saying to Julia, I'm like, really surprised I was able to kind of hit uh, sub 60 on the last set. Um, like in the past where I've done those sort of alternate, alternate pace uh, reps, um, yeah, I've not, I've not run that quick before, so yeah, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. And also just like knowing you're going into a rep trying to hit something and actually you surprise yourself doing a little bit more, so yeah, it's a good session, happy with that. What is this coming off the back of? How does this fit into your weekly program? Yeah, so Tuesdays, well, I've kind of had a little bit of a two-week block after indoors. I had a couple of days off, uh, reset, and then just did a bit more mileage. So I've been doing sort of more sessions on the track and in the park, like Ks, uh, 864, that sort of thing, but not really running... Um, at 15 pace, I guess kind of more 5k, 3k pace. Just kind of like a mini block like I would do in the winter, but just ahead of when we go to altitude, because this is probably, um, yeah, off the back of a heavy block, and then I'll freshen up next week before we go to Flagstaff, and then get into some quicker stuff for the eight. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Will you take time to acclimatize once you get up to Flagstaff, or you jump straight into the fast stuff? Yeah, I definitely take time to acclimatise, but this um, will be, I think, my fourth or my fifth time to Flagstaff, and um, I've also trained in Kenya at 8,000 feet, so I'm quite used to training high. Um, so I can usually, like, session after about three or four days, um, but I do take those first couple of days really easy, just jogging, just, like, yeah, just getting over the jet lag as well, I think, is another factor when you're going yeah. that far. So just making sure I'm getting enough rest and recovery. Awesome. Yeah. Sweet. Well, thank you so much for having me at the session. Yeah, thanks for coming along. <laughs> yeah, really good to see you. Busy yeah. day. Beautiful yeah, it's day. a very be busy and beautiful day, so it's a good day to come down to the track. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Well, good luck and enjoy flag stuff. Thank you. Thank you so much. Are you a happy coach, Craig? Yeah, that was really good today, actually. Uh, very, very strong. We've been, obviously, uh, we did a few more indoors, um, 1500s this year. Um, so we're kind of not go into 15s as such but we want to mix the both up together a little bit more so uh, yeah she's been working on a, a little bit some of that strength work and it seems to be uh, 
it's working quite well actually at the moment. And obviously today is the first day we've had proper uh, warm weather, so the fact that the session's gone really good today, so yeah, pretty good. Nice. And you must have been really happy with the performance of one of the British indoors? Yeah, 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 it was really nice. We just wanted to, uh, you know, when you've been sort of coaching somebody for so long and sometimes you're, you know, class is an 800 metre runner and, you you know, you're kind of repeating the same thing every year. We just thought, well, let's let's focus on the 15 indoors. Um, we didn't have any, any intentions of doing the world indoors anyway, so it was just like, let's do the British champs and uh, let's see if we can win it. And we did, so uh, we'll take that. Awesome. <laughs> How long have you been coaching him? Gosh. Uh, it must be going on nearly 10 years now, I think. Very good relationship with Adele, yeah. He's a very easy person to coach. Just set the stuff, she cracks on with it. No, not too much hassle from anybody. Yeah. How many sessions a week are you normally hands on like this at the track or at the session? Uh, pretty much all, every, every uh, session. So um, obviously the steady running, she gets out and does that on her own. But um, yeah, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, so I'm mainly here. Okay. Those are your session days? The, yeah, normal session. Thursday is a bit more sort of uh, fresh old tempo running, so we'll probably be in Bushy Park in, uh, on Thursday. Um, and then we generally do a little bit of drills and speed in the afternoon on Thursday. Um, but right now it's kind of track all the way now, isn't it? Yeah. Not far off and it's summer and we'll be racing soon because, yeah, I think the plan is to maybe on the 23rd I think if we can do the um, the World Tour in Eugene um, for I think yeah, 23rd of April so she'll drop down from Flagstaff and open up there I hope if yeah. she gets in <laughs> so uh, yeah uh, and then we'll yeah we'll start off with a couple of 15s first and then uh, and then see where it takes us obviously a big year isn't it this year yeah. lots of champs so lots of opportunity awesome. thank you so much for having yeah, me no worries, session no worries. and being yeah, open. Good, mate.